Hey guys, I hope that you've been well. Uh, today I thought I would just do a very quick little update, a bit of a bonus video because I realize it's been a while since I've kind of had a proper sit down chat uh, and there's been a lot that's been on my mind, especially as kind of leading into the last few weeks of my pregnancy. Just sort of want to share with you what to expect. Also some things that I have planned for this year content wise. Also just kind of share overall how I'm feeling at the moment. <laughs> So um, I first of all I wanted to say a huge thank you to every single person who watched my anti-haul video or things that I wanted to buy but didn't. I'm going to link that up here. Uh, that was such a fun video to film and like I said when I was um, filming that I really just enjoy kind of looking into and analyzing the psychology behind why I want to purchase and then why it isn't right for me or maybe it's not right at that point in time. So uh, the feedback I got was that you loved it which is amazing so thank you and I'm definitely going to be filming more of them I would love to get your feedback on the frequency so do you want to see one of those a month or would you rather see one every two months or one a season so if you can let me know in the comments um, as well as actually some feedback on some other series that I want to start this year which I'm pretty, pretty excited about um, in terms of my schedule so I'm currently 36 and a half weeks pregnant when I'm filming this I'll be 37 and a half when this goes live there shouldn't be any interruption in videos so I'm definitely an organized planner when it comes to pretty much every aspect of my life it's just how I've been since I was younger I mean I start planning out a holiday a year before I go away that's just the type of person that I am and so Hopefully, um, what I should have is a video going up once a week, and I believe I've got enough videos to go up until four weeks after my due date. So after that, I'm hoping to get back into filming my videos regularly. Luke's mum is going to be coming over to help out, so I should have that support and that assistance there to be able to, you know, take an hour out of my day if I need to, to be able to film something. I'm sure I'm going to be very, very tired, but uh, I am really grateful that I'm going to have that support seeing as my mum's not around, so uh, it will be really good to have um, and form that really close bond with Luke's mum. Um, so yeah, that's kind of in terms of my schedule. You can still expect to see Sunday videos, which is great. Uh, and I am hoping to kind of go up to maybe six videos a month so an additional video every fortnight and maybe I will do more of those what I wear in a week videos because I love filming them and they're actually something that is relatively easy to film as far as filming videos goes uh, and it's just sort of fun to be able to share some outfit ideas with you guys uh, but what I did want to ask is so obviously I, I live in Sydney I'm in the southern hemisphere and so many of you live in the northern hemisphere and I'm always so grateful that you continue to watch my videos despite the difference in seasons so I thought maybe it might be useful to do what I do on my IGTV which is alternate uh, seasons so do a week of what I'm actually wearing for the first one and then the second one do a week of what I would be wearing if I lived in the northern hemisphere maybe basing it on the weather somewhere like London or New York or whatever so let me know what you think of that because that might be a way to give some more outfit ideas for those of you who do live in an opposite climate to me I do have to say I've really noticed particularly now that I'm in my final month that I do not have the same stamina that I had before so everything feels a lot more laborious it just feels like it takes a lot more effort. Bending over is interesting. <laughs> That's for sure, especially with a big bump in the way. Um, so the three uh, content series that I want to do this year, and um, I really want your feedback on this, is one is going to be like overall brand reviews. So what I really want to create is a resource in terms of helping you find really high quality items, regardless of where you're shopping at. So you'll probably know when it comes to my own uh, shopping strategies, I tend to go with or at least I try to go with a less is more and invest more in high quality items however I consistently say that you do not need to spend a lot of money to find high quality pieces so what I'd like to do is an overall brand view of brands like and other stories who now finally shipped to Australia uh, cause Uniqlo I'd like to revisit Cezanne and also Reformation and maybe do loads of other brands as well and perhaps look at five items talk about the quality of them 
how they fit, how the brand stacks up, like what was the shipping like, what's returns like, uh, whether they've got any kind of eco credentials, that sort of thing, and also show you what to look for when it comes to finding quality. So I'd like to know if you would enjoy that type of content because I think it would be helpful for those of you who are maybe on a low buy and want to just stick to getting really good quality essentials or people who are building their wardrobe and want to make sure that they aren't wasting their money. Which is kind of leads into the second series that I would like to do this year which is the best basics. So talking about skinny jeans, white shirts, silk blouses, blazers, all of that, and going through different brands, talking about, uh, again, like the quality, the fit, sizing, price, whether it's worth it, and maybe giving them a rating out of 10 in terms of what I think is best to invest in. So sort of like where would be worth saving and where would be worth splurging would be the ultimate outcome. Uh, but again, it would kind of give you a good overview of where would be a good place to spend. And <laughs> if you've watched like my Reformation or my Cezanne review, then you will know. I'm really honest. I'm, I'm not going to kind of, uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything because I think when you're investing in your wardrobe and you're spending money on something, you want to make sure that you're happy with it. So that's sort of the second one that I would like to do. The only concern for me with that is that it would mean I'd end up with multiples of things in my closet. Uh, and I guess I sort of see myself as a bit of a guinea pig in that respect. So would love to know what you guys think. <laughs> then the final one that I want to do is a Shop Your Closet series. So this would be around core pieces in your wardrobe and how to style them different ways and make them really interesting and fun using items that you already own. And this one I'm really excited for. I have done things like this in the past where I've done, you know, how to wear a slip dress 20 ways, how to wear a blazer 20 ways. Uh, so I think I did one on how to wear sneakers 20 ways. So definitely one that I think will be a lot of fun and would be in a similar vein, probably just slightly less outfits, and I kind of talk through the elements of the outfit instead of just doing more of a, um, what do you call it, music overlay, baby brain. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I would love to know your thoughts on that. Um, in terms of everything else, um, so it was just recently my birthday and it was weird thinking that it's going to be the last birthday where it's just Luke and I. So we made the most of it. We went to Bronte and we ate brunch at Huxton's, which was really nice. And then we went to Bronte Beach for what's probably going to be my final swim before baby arrives. Uh, and then in the afternoon we went to, um, in Marrickville, there, it used to be called Pagoto, which is the Greek word for ice cream. Now it's called Fresco. And it's still, I believe, primarily a lot of Greek flavors. So we went there to get gelato because it was 36 degrees. Oh my birthday was very hot. <laughs> so we needed to cool down. Um, Luke's been doing landscaping and, and things like that outside. So he's built this enormous plant box, which we painted black. So all the trim on the house is black. We've got, um, our house is brick and we painted the brick. So it looks really, really good. Uh, he also painted the pergola and the update is just really nice it looks very modern so we're gonna have all of these dark plant boxes with a lot of uh, tropical plants around the pergola but in the planter box that he was built with pine uh, we're going to have larger palms and things like that which will give us a bit more privacy in our backyard which would be really really nice so we went out to the plant shop to have a little bit of a gander and just see what was around um, we went to flower power by the way which is amazing <laughs> if you live in Sydney highly highly recommend and then for dinner we went to Bazaar I think that's how you pronounce it. It's uh, again, it's a restaurant in Marrickville and it is very Mediterranean and the food was great. I will say I did think it was a little bit salty, but I would love to go back there again in the winter time because it was really hot. It was 32 degrees at 8.30 and it reminded me of being in Greece. Um, I find in Greece it's still really hot in the evenings. You know, you have a siesta in the afternoon and then you'll kind of congregate again with, you know, your friends and family and things like that or you'll go back to work in the after in the late afternoon. Uh, if you've ever traveled there, then you will know, you know, between two and five all the shops shut. So <laughs> it felt like being in Greece because it was so balmy and hot and we were just dripping and wet <laughs> even though we were sitting outside. But it was really, it was just a really lovely meal overall. I really enjoyed it and a nice way to kind of finish off my birthday. Um, aside from that, uh, I've definitely been taking it easy a little bit more. So I get up at about 
quarter past six, 6.30, and I take Nigel for a 45 to 60 minute walk, which has been really good and a good way for me to make sure that I'm keeping fit and continuing to exercise. Um, I definitely love to turn that back into a run eventually. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been doing that and then just kind of getting my work out of the way and then around sort of just after lunchtime is when I usually have that time for myself to just relax. So for my birthday, Luke got me an Audible subscription, which is awesome because I'd been talking, I'd asked on Instagram whether anyone had used Audible and whether they recommended it. And a lot of you said yes, and that you loved it and that it was amazing. And what we didn't realize when he signed up for it, he did it in this really sneaky ninja way. I was asleep and he used my thumb to actually unlock my phone. <laughs> And download the app so when I woke up in the morning on my birthday it was on my phone very very clever um, we didn't realize that you can have the uh, login on more than one device so essentially it means that we can share books and we tend to like you know some of the same things looks very into sci-fi I would say probably more so than me but uh, and also just anything to do with base basically and I've been listening to the Elon Musk book on the um, library app which I think the one that I'm using is called Overdrive. So that I've been listening to for free. But I did pick a book for Audible and I'm just going to double check what it's called. I feel like it's called Kingpin. American Kingpin. Yeah, by Nick Bilton. And that's sort of about the dark web. And I'm really excited to listen to that one next. And I'm also reading Normal People by Sally Rooney. So I've got a few on the go. I really, I do think that I'm going to make my way through my 12 books for 2020. So that'll be good. I'll just be listening to a lot more of them. And it's nice because especially when I'm walking, I find it's a really great way to, um, it's just a nice way to tune out all of my other thoughts and just focus on something else. So really been enjoying that. And in terms of everything else, um, the pregnancy has been going really well. So yeah, I guess that's kind of a little bit of an update from me, sort of where I'm at at the moment. Um, I feel really calm and relaxed and just good about everything. I've been doing acupuncture, which is which has been really nice and I found really helpful, especially with managing my anxiety. Um, I will be mentioning or talking about this in, in one of my upcoming videos, but you know, my mum passed away in February and it was in January that I found out that she was sick. So it wasn't really a lot of time to process and I usually find this time of year quite difficult and a lot of those feelings tend to come up um, just as I'm sort of, you know, as we're heading into their anniversary, especially since it's five years this year since my mum passed away. So yeah, um, I found that doing the acupuncture has really, really helped. And it's definitely something I think I'm going to continue to do after the baby's born as well, just because I think for mental well-being, it is really useful. And it's not for everyone, but I personally really have <laughs> really benefited from it. So yeah, it's been a, a great thing to do. Um, I need to start journaling as well. I think that's something that's really helpful to get all your thoughts out on paper as well. Uh, yeah, so that's that's it from me, I guess. Um, I, I know this is a bit of a funny video, um, but I hope that you enjoyed it nonetheless, just getting a little bit of insight into what's been happening in my life and what's gonna be coming up. And yeah, like I said, I would love to know your feedback. So please let me know down in the comment section below because uh, what you guys tell me, your feedback, your criticisms, everything, it means the world to me. The fact that you even are engaging, commenting on my videos, letting me know what you think because all of these videos I create, create them for you guys. So, <laughs> you know, I want to make sure that they're good and that you get enjoyment and fulfillment out of them. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to wrap this one up here. Otherwise, I'm going to ramble on forever. So I will see you on Sunday with a new video. See you soon. Bye.